So, to the person who wants the Bud Light and Miller Light Coors Light, I have no problem with that. That's great. But for this event, we're featuring all Iowa products. And obviously, those beers are not brewed in Iowa. And we want to expose you to some new local craft beers. And this is a great way to do it. And you're going to be surprised and you're going to love it. I promise. So, what does it mean that it's a craft beer? It's handcrafted. I mean, from the grain to the mill to the kettle to the mash tun, I mean, it's all made usually by one person. Uh, recipes made by that person, brewed by that person, and most of the times, you know, it's it's all produced in one location. You know, it's not some big conglomerate that has, you know, hundred million dollars of equipment. I mean, you're talking about much smaller operations, and and uh, people are pretty serious about their craft, and, and they're trying to uh, they really change the market, become become a big part of it. So, if someone likes things like Bud Light or whatever, is there something there that they can have that will answer to that palate? Yeah, of course. I mean, we would never come in there on a hot summer day with, with you know, over-the-top imperial stouts and crazy beers that nobody wants on a hot day. So, yeah, we'll have light beers, we'll have wheat beers, we'll have cider, I mean, and IPAs. And even the IPA is kind of intimidating, you know, it's, it's a little bit more bitter, but the ones we're bringing have a lot more of the, uh, the floral, grapefruit, fruity characteristics, and I think that that's gonna really resonate nice on a hot day too, so. Res Ale House is bringing about 100 kegs to the party, so there's gonna be all kinds of choices, so. Yeah, that's the goal, is just to, just to make sure that if you, if you haven't been introduced to craft beer, is just to find, to find you know, different ways to do it, and this is a really easy introductory way to get into it and to try new things, and to ex just usually it's an exposure issue. You know, people just haven't been exposed to the products yet. So when they have that time, they can just get in there and they can actually try it in a stress-free environment. It's pretty cool, and you don't have to commit to a six-pack. You know, you can just have one beer. Mm -hmm.